Shobur, also called Kheria, is one of the aboriginal tribes of West Bengal, India. They live mainly in selected pockets of Purulia and Medinipur districts and constitute 1% of the total ST population of West Bengal. During the colonial period, they were classed as one of the criminal tribes under the Abominable Criminal Tribes Act 1871. The act was revoked in 1952 and their human rights were restored, but nevertheless, they suffer from an ineffable social stigma and ostracism in modern times too. Indescribably poor, they live in shabby shanties with few household utensils as their valuable possessions. They collect food through hunting and from the wild forest produce. Especially the bulbs and roots and occasionally get poisoned and caught death. They mainly sustain with assistances coming from the government and philanthropic organizations and people. Most of them are docile in nature and are being laid to get involved in petty thefts by the so-called civilized people and often put to jail. Unhygienic living conditions coupled with malnutrition and illness more often than not lay them down and they grovel in the cycle of abject and abiding poverty. By nature, they are found to be reluctant to get yoked to the agricultural operations that might have salvaged them from the vicious circle of poverty. Worst of all, they suffer from an ingrained love for wine and lavishly spend the little they have on it. However, of late, things are taking a turn for the better. The suburb women folk appear to have realized the need to take a drive to eke out a better living condition. They have formed self-help groups and exposed the opportunity of drawing assistance from the government schemes. They have been striving hard to become self-reliant by getting involved in income generation activities facilitated by the thrift and credit policy. They are up in arms against the whining of male members. The children are going to schools as first generation learners and are taking part in various social and recreational activities. They have also been immensely benefited from the own your own home scheme of the government. As a circumstantial awareness is gradually dawning upon them, it appears that the silver lining of the present will burst into a sunny brightness that will pervade in their life and living in near future. Thousand thanks to the suburb women folk, the hubbingers of a new dawn in their community.